Hi, today we're going to do the tachyometry uh, calculations in table format. So I'm going to show you just the step-by-step -step method and how to calculate it. So first of all, you have your different columns that you have to fill in uh, with your headings. So you have the from to that shows that you have uh, which points you read from and which points uh, you read. So you'll, you have your benchmark, you'll have the station that you read from as well as the points that you read. Then you'll have your uncorrected stadia distance. This is your top hair minus your bottom hair on the theodolite times 100. So you will have uh, your top hair minus your bottom hair, which will be your S value times 100. Then you'll have your horizontal distance, your height of instrument in middle hair, your horizontal angles, your vertical angles, your theta, your height of instrument minus your middle hair, the vertical component, height of difference, and height. Alright, so the first thing you'll do is you will fill in your stadia distances that are uncorrected. So you'll see that we have read four points from T1, and those are the four points we've read. So that was, um, originally that was 14.320, and we times it by 100 to get 143.20. So the same was done for all of them. Next, we'll fill in our uh, height of instrument, which is 1.74, and then we'll fill in our middle hair readings for um, each point. So at our first point, we had a middle hair reading of 1.74. Our fourth one, we had a uh, middle hair reading of 3.74. Then we'll fill in our horizontal and vertical angles with red through the theodolite. Um, we have all our heights, all our um, points, we have the horizontal angles as well as our vertical angles. And then we also have our angle for our benchmark from our station. So we're going to start with our theta calculation. Here yeah, we're going to calculate our theta, which we're going to use for our horizontal distance as well as our vertical component. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say 90 degrees minus our vertical angle. That is how we calculate each of our thetas. So we'll see the first point will be 90 degrees minus our vertical angle and will give us a theta. We'll do this for each of our points, as you can see, and we'll basically use these thetas for the next calculation, which is our horizontal distance. All right, now to calculate our horizontal distance, we're going to be using our thetas to calculate this uh, for each horizontal distance for our points. So you see the calculation will be your uncorrected stadia distance times squared cos of your theta will give you your horizontal distance. So it'll be this value times cos of this value squared and we'll get 141.81. All right, so we'll do this for each of our points, uh, same as we did with thetas. We we'll use your theta as well as your and corrected stadia distance to work out your horizontal distance. So you do it for each of them. And then we'll go straight to our height of instrument minus our middle layers. Now please take note that our height of instrument is 1.74. So each time we're going to say 1.74 minus the middle hair reading and we'll get, uh, then we'll fill in the answer into this column. So you'll see for each point, you'll say 1.74 minus uh, the height of it, or the middle here. And we'll calculate each of these for each of our points. You'll see the last point has a very high middle here. Um, this means that we'll have a negative. All right, so next we'll calculate our vertical component. This is very similar to our horizontal distance that we calculated because we will be using the theta once again, uh, and we'll also be using our uncorrected stadia distance. So it would be our uncorrected stadia distance times a half, or 0 0.5, times sine uh, of 2 theta. So it'll be 2 times our theta, and it'll give us our answer for our vertical component. So we'll do this for each of our um, points. We'll do the same, uncorrected distance, stadia distance, times a half, times sine of 2 theta, and it give us our answer. So we do it for every point, 
and then we're going to use this to calculate our height difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our height of instrument minus our middle here. We're going to take that reading plus our vertical component, and we're going to get an answer for our height difference. So for this one, we're going to have 14.03, since it's 0 plus 14.03. We're going to do it for this one, as well as this one, this one as well. You can see this one's going to have make quite a big difference, since we had a negative there, and our... Um, it's especially because our vertical angle was above 90 degrees. So from here, we're going to calculate the heights of each point. So we're going to say the height of or height of our benchmark plus the height difference will give us our answer. That will be the height of that point. So here we have 14.03 plus uh, 1206.2. Above sea level is our elevation, uh, and we're going to get 1220.57. So we're going to do this for each of our points, and then we'll get the heights of each of our points. So there we go, we've got it done our tachyometry, we've used our uncorrected stadia distance, we've used our um, vertical component, and we've got, we've calculated our height of each of our points. Um, yes, so. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video. Please ask in the comments below what videos you want from us. Please make suggestions. We're here to try and give you guys more uh, aid to your engineering calculations or software or whatever you're doing. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.